Hello everyone, I'm Anne from English Valley Cafe. Welcome back to another pronunciation video. Do you chop up your word syllables when you're speaking English? Does it sound choppy? Make sure you stay tuned and watch this video. So there are two major points that we're going to talk about in this video. The first is where to put the stress, the word stress, in two syllable and three syllable words. In the second half of this video, we're going to do some practice and I'm going to help you to speak more naturally, to sound more smooth when you're speaking English and not chop up your words. All right, we're going to start off by talking about word stress in two and three syllable words. And this will lead us to talking about the second half of this video and you'll understand it better. So. I'm going to share with you a simple rule to know where to put the stress in which syllable. But this rule does not apply to all the words in English. As you know, in English, there's always that exception, right? So um, we're going to first talk about two syllable words. So typically, when you have a verb that has two syllables, for example, this one right here, create. So there, eight, it's longer, that vowel sound is longer. You'll hear it, right? It's clear versus cre, cre. It's very short and I said it very fast. So, and I'm not stressing it either. Create, create. Same thing for include, right? Include. So there, I'm, again, I'm stressing on the second syllable, clued include now in now we're going to stress the first syllable so for example salad salad so here i'm stressing on sal that first syllable and the vowel sound in that syllable is longer it's much more clear than the second syllable where i said lit lit right that vowel sound is very short it's fast and I'm using that schwa sound. So the uh, uh, lit, lit, salad, salad, or English, English. Okay, again, I'm stressing on that first syllable, English. Now, what about for three syllable words? This one can be a little bit tricky because you can have stress at the beginning, even in the middle, and sometimes at the end of a word. So for example, beautiful, okay? beautiful. Can you hear where that stress is? Is it be, uh, or full? It's the first syllable, right? Beautiful. So you hear that be, that vowel sound loud and clear, and it's a little bit longer, the full, the full. It's short, right? It's fast and it's not stress it's on stress so beautiful computer computer can you hear where the stress is is it the first syllable second or third it's the second syllable computer right pew computer so when i say come i'm using that schwa sound right it's short and fast and i'm not stressing it come pew -er. Okay, so computer. How about this one? It's a little bit tricky. Afternoon. Afternoon. Can you hear where the stress syllable is? It's at the end of the word, right? Afternoon. Okay, noon. So afternoon. All right, this is it. We're going to put two words together and we're going to talk about how to speak English smoothly and not sound choppy. And I always tell my students that when you're speaking English, you have to picture in your head that there's this water stream, okay, like water flowing in the stream is very smooth, okay? So for example, computer science, okay, computer science. I often hear this word as computer, okay, the, the, the. But it's not choppy like that, right? It's computer, okay? computer. So what I'm doing here is I'm not 
making that little pause in between syllables. I'm saying it all the way through, but I'm still stressing on the syllable, the second syllable, right? Computer. Okay. Try it with me. Computer. Computer. Science. Science. Now let's put it together. Computer science. Okay, you try it. Computer science. Good. Let's try another one. Celebrate together. Okay. Celebrate together. Celebrate together. Cucumber salad. Cucumber salad. Cucumber salad. Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon. Okay, so Saturday afternoon. Everyday English. Everyday English. Everyday English. All right, how did you do? I hope that helped you to get that feel for how to speak more smoothly and not chop up the words or chop up the syllables. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you find this video useful, make sure you share it and subscribe if you haven't done so and hit that bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video every week. In the meantime, check out these videos for more practice and I will see you next week in the new video.